guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is sarah and if you're new here welcome and this week we are going to do a weekly vlog i haven't done a weekly vlog in quite some time my last video was a few days of my life vlog but i'm starting back up with a weekly vlog today as you guys saw this morning i went and got some coffee and today is monday so on mondays i don't work so Mondays are my content days, best day of the week. <laughs> and I am just about to make some breakfast and I'm gonna take you guys along with me this week. I'm so excited to be vlogging a weekly vlog. Again, I have some really fun things planned for the week. So yeah, let's make some breakfast. <laughs> Hey Google, stop. <laughs> okay, well, I just got ready for my little content day. I have all of my outfits ready to go right here. We got quite a few to shoot today. We'll see if we get to them all. I'm gonna put this one on because this one is kind of the most risque and I just wanna get it over with. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to take you guys along for all of the content because it's going to be a whole week in my life, you guys. We have a lot going on this week, so I don't really need to be showing every little detail. I mean, unless it's something you guys are interested in, then let me know and I will just do a whole content day in my life and show you guys all of that. But I'm going to head out. It is like almost one o'clock right now. I kind of just took my time getting ready and it always takes me longer than I think. And then I wanted to try on the outfits and make sure that they look good. And I have like shoes and accessories and all of that that I need. Let's go. Wish me luck. I hope that I get all, if not all, most of these outfits shot. So then I am good to go for the next couple weeks. So let's go sisters. <laughs> Just grabbing a snack. Very, very important to have snack and water on content days because it can be a lot, you guys. Hi, guys. I thought I'd up you, or what? <laughs> I thought I would update you guys. So I just finished shooting one look and I just got into the next one. I was actually wearing this this morning. It is like a sweat set from Ardeen um, or Arden. I don't know if it's Ardeen or Arden. But anyways, and it has these little shoes. Oh, <laughs> I think they're so cute. And I got this little hat from them as well. I'm gonna put this on. I think I'm gonna do like little pigtails maybe. I think this could be cute, so let's try. So like little like ones down here. Um, I have so much hair, you guys. I like low key want to cut it. Let me know if I should cut my hair or not. I get worried because it's so thick that sometimes when you cut it, or the one time that I did cut it short, it looked like funny because my hair is so thick. So, I don't know. Do you guys have any recommendations for that? If you've ever cut your hair and you have thick hair. But, I don't know. I think it'd be cute. Cute. So when I'm shooting, I obviously shoot like around like four looks every time. So I like to do different things with my hair. So it looks like they were all taken on like different days but I cannot do that. Let's see, this is kind of cute. Yes. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, let's go. 
I just got home from my shoot and I didn't end up shooting all the looks. I still have like two more that I could shoot, but I was just getting really tired and hungry. So I'm coming home and I'm gonna probably eat some food and work on some schoolwork slash work stuff. And that's probably about it today. whipped up this fabulous dinner you guys got some salmon and sweet potatoes so this is a sweet potato and it's not orange or yellow i don't know but for the longest time i thought the sweet potatoes had to be orange but those are actually yams fun fact and the real sweet potatoes are actually like light yellow and another fun fact sweet potatoes are like my favorite food <laughs> So sometimes I will literally just like eat this because it's so bomb. Hi guys, it's the next day today. It's Tuesday and it's like 4.30 p.m. It's a lot later in the day. I just got done with work and I thought I'd give you guys a little try on haul because I know a lot of you guys love my try on hauls. I've actually had a few people message me on DMs or text messages telling me that they love my try on haul portions and I haven't actually done this for like the last few vlogs so I thought I better do one in this one and show you guys like some of the new selects I have for this month. Sorry the lighting is like really weird. I'm going to show you guys like some of my favorite pieces that I got. So let's start with glasses. These are some super comfy sweatpants, joggers and the material is like very very soft it's good quality all of glasses items are great quality but they have like the best basics so if you're gonna go there to shop i would definitely recommend their basics and their joggers they are long too i always have problems where i'm not even that tall i'm like five seven but i have problems where the ankle will be like up higher than where my ankle is so these ones actually will go all the way down so even if you're tall you'll probably be safe with these and i've been so into like dressing my joggers up so wearing them with a nice shirt like a button-up sweater button-up shirt or little crop tops and like a nice jacket leather jacket jean jacket really plain with dressing up joggers and sweatpants and like the athleisure look is super cute right now. I'll throw on like a um, baseball cap and you look like you're so put together. So definitely do that, sisters. Oh, and I got these in a size large. What else did I get from Glasson? Like half zip. It's ribbed. Yeah, you can kind of see the color when I get closer to it. Yeah, I thought this was super cute with the joggers half zip very stretchy material very soft it's kind of like the athleisure look as well but it's not actually athletic wear but it gives the vibe of that and i think it's really cool got this in a size extra small small i have nothing like this in my closet like i have athletic ones like this but not shirts that are supposed to be like worn more dress up like this and i thought the color was really cool so i'm obsessed the last thing from glasses i'm going to show you guys is this absolutely iconic leather jacket it's very thick very oversized i got a size large and i have been wanting i have leather jackets but I've never had like the blazer looking leather jacket and this is so in right now. I don't know if you guys have like seen people wearing these but this is like a fall staple that you guys need. I have been eyeing one of these for like the past few months and I'm so happy I got my hands on this baby. <laughs> Next we'll do cotton on. I have 
two pieces. I'm gonna show you guys from Cotton On. So it's this cute little collared shirt. And it's also in that greenish color. It's kind of a little bit more bluish green, but also a green. If you guys didn't know, I'm going for the green feed on my Instagram. <laughs> I was going for the red last time if you kept up with my vlogs, you guys saw. But we're on to green right now. So make sure you guys check out my Instagram if you haven't, at Sarah Gregoire. <laughs> okay, this is also ribbed. And this is not a very thick like sweater like top. It is kind of like a sweater material, but this is a great piece that you can transition from the fall to winter, summer, weather to winter, depending on where you are. I know in like Arizona, it's still like 100 degrees. But where I live in North Dakota, it today was like 60 degrees. So this would be perfect. You could even layer this with my leather jacket I just showed you guys, and that would be a look. Oh, size, I got a size small. And these jeans, I have the exact same jeans in a light wash that I think I've actually shown you guys on a vlog. I have shown you guys. And they're on my Instagram and I get so many DMs and questions about where they're from. Cotton On is the place to get your denim, I swear. And these are just nice black denim. They have some rips on the knee. And they're wide leg at the bottom, which is so in right now and so cute and I'm obsessed. But yeah, these fit amazing so I have like I said I have them in regular denim wash and those ones for some reason I mean they fit me great but they definitely fit a tighter fit than the black wash does and I'm obsessed with the way the black wash fits it's more loose fit and it's super super comfy like I could wear these all day every day and it would feel like I'm wearing sweatpants <laughs> So yeah, super into these and I got a size eight. Their fall winter staple and it is from our den. Denim jacket and it has the like fur, what do you call that? Not fur, I don't know what you guys call that. I did actually find one like this from, I wanna say it was a thrift store and it was actually like Levi's but I think it was like a size small or medium so it fit me fit and I'm, I want the oversized look because you know I just want to dress like a boy all the time now yeah I always look like a boy I feel like the most comfortable in like the boyish outfits is there any other any other girls out there like that like I put on like the girliest outfit and I like I look cute and all but like when I put on my joggers my baggy jeans, my sneakers, my hoodies, my oversized jackets. I feel like myself again, and I'm confident, and I'm thriving, and that's all we need, right, sisters? <laughs> okay, well, yes, like I said, light wash, denim jacket, little fur collar action, and I got this in a size extra large. Absolutely love this. This is also a staple for fall, winter, you guys can wear this all the way through the season. You can layer it. You can wear your hats, your beanies, your baseball caps, your joggers, your jeans, your... Everything can be worn with one of these babies. You guys already know. I'm sure you all have jean jackets, but this one is perfect for the fall winter because it has a little fur action. And that is it for my little try on haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. And make sure you guys are staying up with me on Instagram because that's where you're going to see all of these pieces styled and shot and all cute and done up and I don't know what's happening. I'm like delirious after work. But yeah, that is all for my little turn haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's get on to the video. Okay, well, I just got the mail. Yeah, I'm changed into my comfy clothes. This sweatshirt, I just got it actually. This is from Ardeen as well. So it's New York, City of Dreams. So comfy, so cute. We love. Okay, well I just got the mail and I had a package from Lounge. If you guys don't know what Lounge is, Lounge has like undergarments. They also have a swimwear brand. 
and I've worked with them before and they asked me if I would like to work together again. I love Lounge because they are very inclusive. They have all types of influencers, all types of models, race, they have different body types, of people on there that have even like physical disabilities and I think it's super cool that they're so inclusive. So that makes me want to continue to work with them and that is why I choose to. It can be a little tricky shooting content in like a bralette and underwear, but that's when you just have to get creative because obviously I don't want to cross any boundaries, but you can still look professional, cute and sexy and all of the above at the same time. It's just being confident in yourself and it doesn't mean that you're trying to get anything or trying to prove anything to anyone. It is just showing your confidence and being creative with the brand and really just making it work. Even like swimwear, swimwear and loungewear literally is the same thing. You know, underwear, swimsuit, same thing. I admire people that do that and put themselves out there because it shows that they're confident in their own skin and that they should love their bodies, they love themselves, and that's exactly the kind of brand that I want people to think of when they think of me is never to show that I'm better or that I have this or that or whatever. It is just to be confident in your own skin and that us women can do those things and share those things and it shouldn't have to be frowned upon, you know? Who's with me? <laughs> Anyways, let's get to this back unboxing opening situation. I'm sure you guys are like, okay, Sarah, shut up. But that's just important to me, okay? These are the underwear. You, little thong action. The rib detailing. The last time I worked with them, it was a black, like, set. And it didn't have the ribbed detailing, which I really like that. These seem like they're super comfy. The last ones had like a band on them. I like these. Very cute. This is the top. It's like a bralette slash bra kind of thing. And it's like a nude color. And these ones also say lounge right there. For size reference, let's see. I got a large in the bottoms. And then 32D in the top. If you guys are wondering, I usually wear like larges in underwear and swimsuit bottoms, and then I'll wear, I have like a smaller rib cage, so I always need like a 32 around. And then it just kind of depends. I feel like I could do anywhere between C and D, but usually for me, I don't know why this is. Can someone let me know if this is actually a fact? 32 waist and a D and then a 34 waist D, I swear are different in the cup sizes. Like, does the cup go down when your waist size goes down? Does anyone know that? Because I swear that's what happens. I don't know. Anyways, that was my little unboxing for you guys. That was a very long discussion. It is 5.37 now. I'm probably going to eat some food soon. I have no idea what I'm going to eat. I should probably work out. We'll see if that actually happens. But yeah. Okay, guys. I actually decided I'm going to do a little workout. A quick one. So I can get on with my night. If it gets dark outside, I will not work out. I don't know if it's just me. If anyone else is like that. But once it gets dark out, I'm like, no, I'm done for the night. I'm chilling, I'm watching Netflix, I'm sitting on my phone, but it's still light out a little bit, so I better get one in really quickly. And the one I'm gonna do, 30 minute full body burn, hit workout, no equipment, it's by Mad Fit on YouTube. And I'm just gonna do this really quick and get on with my night so I can chill. <laughs> Spend these days and nights Trading all of our deadlines For conversations over wine Killing time You and I In this moment we're alive Infatuated with your eyes
Hello, hi, it's the next day, it's Wednesday, and since I got home from work, I've been apartment searching for next semester when I'm in Arizona. I have been kind of stressed out about that because it's in, what, like two and a half months, three months from now, and I still don't have a place that I'm going to be living at. It's very, very expensive, and I'm trying to find a place that will be furnished, so that also costs extra money usually, and then there's like the parking aspect, there's extra fees that go with it, and you also want to be in like a safe place, and then I want to be like close to my facility, so that's just kind of stressing me out, but I just talked to this girl at an apartment that I was looking at, and she was so helpful. And um, that makes me really want to go there now. Like, obviously, if you're a nice person and you have good personable skills, you take your time with people when they're asking you questions. Like, I appreciated her so much. And just like comparing my conversation with her to people that I've had, conver or to conversations I've had with other apartments, she was so helpful. She was so nice. And she even like texted me after, made sure I have everything, sent me an email right away with like all the information, everything that I wanted and what was available, my options. She's even sending me like a virtual video so I can see what it looks like. Like that is that just makes me want to go there ten times more. <laughs> but I thought I would hop on here. Not really sorry. Not just to like tell you guys, sorry, the glare on my glasses is kind of annoying but to tell you guys that I am got asked by I believe she so she's a college student and I believe she is um, going to school for like, journalism and she emailed me and she wants to do an interview for one of her assignments but I think she also wants to get the interview like published I don't know something about body image and fashion and how it relates to high-waisted pants. I will let you guys know. I'm kind of nervous because I've never done one of these, but I was very flattered that she reached out to me. So we met one time, we have a mutual friend, and I think we, we talked a little bit, but nothing about like fashion or anything. So I was very surprised and excited that she reached out to me for this interview. So this should be really fun. Um, I'll let you guys know when the article is out if you guys have access to it because it should be really fun and interesting let's let's do this Hello. hi how are you good how are you not too bad <laughs> <laughs> guys that interview was so good it was so much fun and Shelby was so sweet and I just jabbered on because I just am so passionate about the topic body image self-esteem fashion you guys know I am very very passionate about that stuff so I had a lot to talk about she asked really good questions and I think she said that she was going to be talking to a feminist on Friday. She's going to be doing an interview with her. And I bet that's going to be so interesting for the story. She said that she's going to let me know when the story comes out. And I'll make sure to let you guys know where it is so you guys can read it if you're interested. But I think a lot of you guys are really going to like it and you're going to really relate to it. So I'm so excited. I definitely want to do more interviews and stuff like that in the future it just made me so happy and i feel like i could just talk about the topic all day long <laughs> and i think the rest of the night i'm just going to have some dinner and probably look at more of my apartment stuff that i was looking at earlier and finish some schoolwork that i have due tomorrow night 
so that's what I'm gonna do and that was just so fun I'm just so fulfilled now you know make sure you guys like I was nervous honestly to have that conversation but at the end of the day like it was so much fun and it was just a good combo so make sure you guys take opportunities like that if it ever comes your way because it's really good to talk about things that you care about and things that you're passionate about so people can learn from them <laughs> hi so i'm the worst i haven't vlogged at all today i mean it's friday and oh and i didn't vlog <laughs> yesterday either okay what is this weekly vlog i don't even know if you can call that weekly vlog when days are missing but whatever it's fine it's fine it's like seven o'clock right now and I just shot some content since I got home from work. I got home at like five and then I got ready and just shot content because I wanted to. I just did one look and it turned out really good. But now I am thinking I should get sushi for dinner. Like... Saturday it's the afternoon and I am about to take a shower and I'm gonna clean up all of this mess in my room I'm going to clean upstairs I'm just gonna clean the whole place just kidding not the whole place but I'm gonna clean a little bit today and then I'm gonna chill and do some homework so let's do that <laughs> I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Might have caught the June blues, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice. Sunday I am going to end the vlog here and I showed lots of stuff that I did this week hopefully it was entertaining for you guys I know during the day I am busy with work so I can only show a little bit of my days but I know that this video got kind of long so if you made it this far in the video you're a real one thank you but I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day today and I'm gonna try to edit all of this and have it up either today or tomorrow so it is up 
in real time. You guys can see what I did literally this week, the week that you're watching it. See you guys next time.